Hi, my name is Eric Goldberg. I'd like to welcome you to my studio here in Philadelphia, where today I'm going to show you the process of etching. This is a heavy gauge, solid copper. It's called engraver's copper because it's so highly shined. I put the gloves on to protect my skin because I'm going to be using some chemicals that are very harsh. This is a polish, believe it or not, called Putz Pomade, and it's used in the printmaking industry because it's an abrasive. After this is polished, I'm going to apply a little bit of oil and I go in with this very hard tool, a sharp hard tool, and I can close up the scratches. Now that the plate has been polished, I'm ready to apply a ground. The ground covers the plate with an acid resistant ground that I can then draw through once it's dry. The ground I'll be using is asphalt-based, tar-based. So this will protect the plate and also give me a surface to draw. I then take the plate that's been grounded and put it on my hot plate. The heat will bake it on. It'll make it hard. It'll make it glossy. You notice now it's kind of ripply and the reflections of the fan are ripply. When it's dry and ready to go, it'll be smooth like a mirror. Once the plate has cooled down, I can then start the etching process. You can see that I'm using an etching needle to scratch through the ground and expose the copper. I don't have to stick with my original drawing. I can ad lib and this is where the real creative part comes in. This is the original drawing that was made last summer in Dyer Bay, Maine. This is the second stage of the drawing. I redrew it. And this is the third stage of the drawing just before I applied it to the etching plate. Here we see the finished etching. It's ready to go into the acid, which will now eat into those exposed lines and cut my drawing into the plate. Going to be doing now is etching the plate. I use the term acid. I used to use hydrochloric acid. I now use ferric chloride, which is a corrosive. It's much more environmentally sound and it's safer for me. The fumes aren't bad and it does a beautiful job of etching. So I'm going to turn my timer on. I'm going to submerge this in the ferric chloride for 30 minutes. Once the 30 minutes has passed, we take the plate out of the ferric chloride, wash it off in the sink, just plain old water. I then place it in a solution of vinegar and salt. It's kind of a brine. And what it does is it neutralizes the ferric chloride. Okay, let's go up to the studio. We'll clean this off and see what we have. Now that the plate has been etched, we're ready to clean it off and see what we have. And then we'll be able to print. What I'm using is a solvent called soy solve. And I used to have to use turpentine, which was very environmentally unsafe. You see this cleans it right off. And underneath, you can see that it's properly etched into the plate. I'll be able to use this to print. I'm going to begin by heating the copper plate and applying the ink. I'm going in different directions to make sure that the ink goes into the lines, which are also in different directions. Once I get all the ink on it, I can remove the ink off the top surface. You can see that most of the ink stays in the lines. I will then take this tarlatan, which is a cloth very similar to a ballet dancer's tutu, and I can take off the excess ink. I will then take a clean cloth, clean off the edges, and I'll take another tarlatan, which is newer and cleaner. What I want to do is just take it off the top surface. I don't want to get down into those lines. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I'll clean up the edges again, and then I'm going to use the flat part of my hand. Do 
the edges a bit again. And then I'm going to take a piece of newsprint. In this case, Philadelphia phone book. I'm going to shine up the surface. This absorbs all the extra ink. I clean the edges again. Do a final hand wipe. And now I'm ready to print. I'm going to heat the plate slightly to soften up the ink. And I'm going to place it on the press. And I will now get my paper. The paper I'll be using to print on is 100% cotton. It's called rack paper. Now that the fibers have been soaking for a while, the paper is now saturated and you can see how limp it is. It's limp like a noodle. You take this and put it between some cotton blotters. Seal that in a plastic bag so it doesn't dry out overnight. Take it into the studio and put some weight on top of it so that the paper is damp and swollen but not wet. We have the paper ready to print. You notice the paper is very soft. And now I'm going to place the paper on the plate and put the blankets over the plate. Run it through the press at 2,000 pounds per square inch. The blankets push the paper down into the lines. Because the paper is damp, actually take a mold, the surface of the plate. And there's the print. You'll notice it's reversed. What's on the right is on the left, and what's on the left is on the right. In this case, it doesn't matter. If there was lettering, it certainly would matter because it would be a mirror image. So this has been a survey of the process of etching. It's a very brief survey, but I hope it was informative. Thank you for joining me.